Hey, it's TM Powell with 44 in the town, and we're out here at Adventures Archery. It's right off US Highway 301. Veronica's come out here. She's going to join me later on. We're going to take a look at their facility and see what they have to offer. Now we're joined by Danny. She's one of our coaches and public outreach coordinator here at Adventures Archery. Now, Danny, tell us about this beautiful building you guys have. First off, thanks for coming by. We appreciate having you. At our facility, we have 8,700 square feet. We've got two ranges, one downstairs, 22 lanes. Upstairs, we have a separate kids range and for parties, six to eight lanes, depending on how many people we pack in there. And tell us about some of the products you actually sell in the store here. We're a Matthews Mission dealer. We also carry Prime, Elite, Darton, Bowtech. Uh, we've got all the arrows, Gold Tip, Carbon Express, Easton, Black Eagle. Now, I was looking around the store a little bit. Now, I'm a little bit of a novice here. Tell me the difference between your traditional bow, or recurve, as you told me, and yes, the sir. compound. You've got a couple different kind of recurves. We've got takedown recurves and long bows. Definitely more traditional, instinctive style shooting. Compounds are the bows you see behind us. They've got the wheels, which we call cams, faster straighter flying arrow, easier to learn on, but I'll tell you what, it's, recurves have been a big craze lately. Now, is that just because of the whole pop culture-ness of bow and arrows right now? Absolutely, we have so many kids and adults come in and want to try the recurves. They've seen them on the movie, seen them on TV. Now, speaking of kids, I have two kids of my own, and I'm always looking to try to get them into sports because I feel like sports is very important, but I don't want to get them hurt. I don't want to do anything sure. too dangerous. Tell us why archery is such a great sport for youngsters. Absolutely. Well, first off, as long as you do it correctly and you'll always have an instructor when you come shoot with us, someone to keep an eye on you, archery is the most safe sport out there, statistically proven. It's a great sport to come and try. It's safe. Anybody can do it. It's very simple once you get started. What's the youngest uh, kid you've ever had come in here to, to try classes? We've had four to five-year-olds come in and Four to, to five-year-olds, really? As long as, we don't really like to base it on age range. As long as they're coordinated enough to knock the arrow, get in form, take proper stance, we'll definitely work with them. And it's got to help with the discipline, concentration, but it absolutely. is a little bit of a workout, trust oh, me. Oh, absolutely. We've got people who come in and don't think it's a big deal, and by the end they're breaking a sweat. Now, you do offer lessons here as well. Tell us a little bit about your group lesson. We offer classes five nights a week, Monday through Thursday. Thursday are beginner, Friday is intermediate advance. Now I got a question about the group beginners. Now, yes. is this be people like me who don't know what they're doing and little kids or do you break it up? We break it up sometimes. It most likely be you and a sea of kids, but we do have a lot of parents <laughs> try it. Um, when the groups are big enough, we'll put the adults downstairs. Well, what's good is as a whole family, you can come out and do it. This isn't just like a sport like mom, dad, little sister, little brother. We can't all go play football in the backyard without somebody probably getting roughed well, up. Well, the, the cool thing about it is we've got families come in, the kids shoot, the parents watch, see how much fun it is. The next time they come back, they're shooting too. I grab the kids two bows, they say, oh, well, we need two as well. We're all gonna shoot together. Now, it's a great family sport. Now let's say somebody wants a little bit more than just the group lesson. They want some hands-on. Do you offer private lessons Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. Just schedule a time with us. We can do it any day of the week. And do you get more out of the private lessons, obviously, with you definitely everything? Definitely get one-on-one -on -one time. We try and keep our group classes under 12 people, so you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one anyways, but a private lesson is definitely a great way to go. And what's the expectation for the group classes for a student? One, we just want to keep you safe while you're shooting. We want you to definitely have fun, but we want you to walk away feeling like you learned a little something, and you can generally pick up a bow, shoot it, and hit the target. Hey, it's Veronica hanging out at Adventures Archery along with Danny. Now, one thing that I noticed right away when you walk in the store is all of the exotic animals. Tell us about them. Yes, ma'am. Every animal in the store was harvested with a bow and arrow. Most of the animals are from South Africa. There's obviously a few North American animals in here. The lions behind me were actually taken in South Africa, the female lion by a 12-year-old girl with a bow and arrow. I'm a novice at archery, but I really enjoy doing it because there's one thing that I notice about archery, and that is that it's relaxing. It, I almost think of it as yoga. Because Very relaxing. It's, it's quiet when you're on the range, and the sound that that arrow makes, especially when it hits the target, there's just something about it. Now, do you think that women might actually be a little bit better at archery than men? Well, I'm a little biased on this <laughs> one, but <laughs> there, you'd be surprised how well some of the kids shoot and how well the women shoot. Everybody picks it up so fast, and that's probably one of the greatest things to me about archery is it's not just a men's sport. Somebody, anybody can come and grab a bow and get efficient with it. Now, to me, archery is something that you really need a lot of patience for. Um, what are some of the other characteristics that a person would need to possess in order to be good at archery? Focus, really. Focus and confidence, I think, are the two biggest. It seems like the kids who come in that are confident and ready to go are the ones that shoot really well. So we like to see that. Confident people shooting, focusing on the target. 
Now here at Adventures Archery, you guys also have a league, right? Every Wednesday night, we hope the whole community will come in with us and shoot league. It's a great way to come, meet new people, be a little bit competitive. Now we talk a lot about archery as a family sport, and um, you guys do a lot for kids, uh, even parties, right? Absolutely, we do birthday parties, group lessons, private lessons, basically anything you need to get going. We also offer services with the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. We'd like to thank Adventures Archery for having us out today. Make sure to stop by their location on Highway 301. Bring the entire family because they will love it.